Welcome back to Morning Joe. We have exciting news on who is coming to the Forbes 3050 Summit in Abu Dhabi, which is now just eight weeks away. It's also time for the release of our second annual 50 over 50 list, Asia, spotlighting incredible women having their greatest impact well after the age of 50. The lists immediately went global. We'll get to that in just a moment. Joining us now, Huma Abedin, Vice Chair of the 3050 International Women's Day Summit, and Maggie McGrath, editor of Forbes Women. Good to have you both. Huma, we've already announced some of our incredible headliners that are coming to the 3050 Summit in Abu Dhabi in just like eight weeks. Hillary Clinton, Gloria Steinem, Malala, Catherine O'Hara, Aisha Curry, oh. just to name a few. And now we have more news on who is going to be there, starting with Yara Shahidi. Tell us about her. So Mika, 2023 has kicked off to be a very exciting uh, time for the, those of us planning the 3050 Summit. We are so excited, Yara Shahidi actress and activist uh, is joining us on the main stage in Abu Dhabi. She, many of us know her from um, her role in first Blackish and then Grownish. Uh, I don't know how this 22 year old managed to be a full time college student and a full time <laughs> actress, both in those shows. Um, she now has a production company with her mother. She has her own online mentoring uh, program uh, called Yara's Club. And so the fact that she is coming and sharing both her experience, but also um, sharing her thoughts and views for the future, because she has a lot that she continues to be doing. Yeah, and along with Yara, we have a whole list of uh, new guests that are coming this year. Let's go through them. Misty Copeland is coming. Well, Misty Copeland has single-handedly changed the face of American ballet, being the very first African-American uh, female principal da uh, ballerina so um, dancer at uh, the American Ballet Theater. Such an incredible role model, and she now says her goal is giving back, so can't wait to have her with us as well. And, and Paulina Portskova. Paulina Portskova, who sat in this very chair a few weeks ago talking <laughs> about her book, uh, No Filter, a self-described accidental former supermodel. Um, and writer, and she was such a compelling speaker last year. We can't wait for her to share more about her experiences, both in her profession and her personal life, and uh, and lots of excitement with her returning to this year. And then finally, Sunira Madani. I take a point of personal pride to mention Sunira Madani, um, who is a young, and I, I believe, and uh, Maggie and I were talking about this yesterday, the youngest Pakistani American um, founder of a company that is uh, got a billion dollar valuation stacks. It's a wow. payment processing company. And I am so excited about this young woman who built a company, had this idea, um, took it to her. She was working at another fintech company, took the idea to her bosses, uh, didn't get anywhere, and so went out and started this company on her own. It was just a vision. She built a family while she was building uh, this company. She is so uh, done such an amazing job already giving back. She has started uh, something called CEO School where she teaches other young women and particularly people of color. And I love that she says that, you know, she doesn't want to be the exception as a woman of color in the fintech space starting a new business. She wants to become the norm. Cannot wait to hear what she has to say in Abu Dhabi. And Maggie, uh, stories like Sunira and Madani, uh, these are cross-generational, cross-cultural connections that we're going to be making at the 3050 Summit, and that's what it's all about. Indeed it is. I find that all of these women are living this mission personally and professionally. Huma just mentioned the CEO school. I love that. Sunira started that in 2020 before we started the 3050 Summit. Misty Copeland has broken barriers through her dancing, but she's paying it forward through writing and through activism. So I think what will happen when we bring all of these women under the same roof to network with each other and to share their knowledge with our audience is nothing short of magical. Well, to register for the 3050 Summit with Forbes and Know Your Value. Just go to Forbes.com and get all the information. I want to quickly get to our Asia list. Maggie, uh, this is the second annual 50 over 50 Asia, and our honorees are incredible. They are from 15 different countries and territories, working across 28 different sectors. Let's start with Doris Sue, who is 61. 
She is the CEO of Global Wafers. It is one of the world's largest producers of silicon wafers. Those are the materials that go into semiconductors that power all of our electronics. She's been leading the company since she turned 50, and she is a rarity in our industry. I mean, globally, whether you look in the US or Asia Pacific or Europe, women account for less than 10% of executives in semiconductor C-suite roles. But she's leading at scale. Her company is worth $6 billion, and in June, of just last year, she announced a $5 billion investment in a plant that will open in Texas and employ 1,500 people. Let's just get one more in, Maggie. Um, Fawn Didi, 56-year-old billionaire. Tell us more. A new billionaire, which is why we like her for this list. She's a scientist at heart, and she co-founded her company, which think of it as beauty meets biotech. She studies mm. and researches collagen, that protein that is so important for our skin structure. And she has taken her scientific research, poured it into the products of this company, which drive hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. And then in November, just a few months ago, her company had a $500 million IPO on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and that made her a billionaire at 56. You can read so much more about these incredible women and see who else made the list at Forbes.com and KnowYourValue.com. And that's also where you can get all the information you need to attend the 3050 Summit with Forbes and Know Your Value. We will see you there. Maggie McGrath and Huma Abedin, thank you so much for being on. We'll talk to you again soon. And we'll be right back with much more Morning Joe.